Ashford for his contribution to the music industry and his recent Hollywood Walk of Fame honor. Councilman Collins, you have the floor. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Is Mr. Ashford present? Mr. Chairman, it gives me great pleasure and honor for the Memphis City Council to recognize one of its own citizens that make extra, extraordinary contributions to not only our city, but to their industry careers as well. Whereas the city of Memphis has a rich musical heritage that is known throughout the world as evidenced by the thousands of tourists that descend upon Bill Street to hear our many talented <coughs> artists. Whereas Jack Ashford is one of Memphis's own who has left an indelible mark on the music industry as a member of Motown's Funk Brothers. And whereas Paul Justman's 2002 documentary, Standing in the Shadows of Motown stated, the Funk Brothers have played on more number one hits than the Beatles, Elvis Presley, the Rolling Stones, and the Beach Boys combined. And whereas Jack Ashford played percussion, the tambourine, viaphron, and the marimba with the Funk Brothers who backed most of Motown's recordings from 1959 until the company moved to Los Angeles in 1972. <clears throat> whereas Jack's tambourine was one of the dominant forces that gave Motown Records its distinguishable sound that we all remember from the hits like My Girl, Ain't No Mountain High Enough, and Baby Love. And whereas Jack is a two-time Grammy Award winner, Lifetime Achievement Award winner, and holds several gold records recipient and was most recently acknowledged in Los Angeles with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And whereas it was key donations by Motown stars Valerie Simpson, the late band leader Paul Schaefer, and Ray Parker Jr. that made possible for the star at Hollywood and Vine <coughs> after the initial nomination in 2008 by Stu Miller, who was instrumental in the Funk Brothers receiving their lifetime achievement. And whereas his wife Cher is indeed proud of his accomplishments and contributions to a musical legacy known throughout the world that indeed changed R&B music for the better. And whereas the Memphis City Council deem it appropriate to recognize such an outstanding individual and citizen. Now therefore be it resolved by the Memphis City Council that Jack Ashford be applauded for his exceptional contributions to the music industry in helping to create music that transcends generations be it further resolved that the Memphis City Council congratulates Jack Ashford on receiving a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and the musical heritage he leaves for young artists to build upon. Adopted this June 18th day, 2013, signed Harold Collins, member of the Memphis City Council. Mr. Chairman, I so move. I need a second. I got the second verbally by Ms. Halbert. Can we record that, Madam oh, Comptroller? No, no, no. Let's have it moved by Collins, seconded by Halbert. Uh, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Show that unanimous congratulations. I do want to recognize Ms. Lynn Zittler and Ms. Johnny Walker representing the Film Commission and the Memphis Music Commission here present to be with us. I thank you and also thank the uh, City Council as well as the citizens 
for this wonderful honor. I have to condense 50 years into five minutes, so I gotta talk fast. I, uh, I've been here since 1983, but I have been involved with Memphis, Tennessee for a long time because I used to moonlight from Motown to cut records with stacks. So the Johnny Taylor records and Carla Thomas, I played on all those records. And I always wanted to bring something to Memphis to add to the great legacy that already existed. So just recently, I did some recordings here with Elton John, Bob Skagg, Ray Parker Jr., and a host of European artists that came to get my services. And uh, I'm gonna show you what that star looks like. There's only a couple thousand of them existing on the planet. So this is about as close as you're going to get to it. <laughs> and to show my appreciation for your being so considerate, I'm going to give something to you that exists nowhere else on the planet in a city council. A duplicate of this for your citizens. Woo! This is yours. I'd be happy to live in my office. Oh, that's fine. That's good selfish. <laughs> Sound like a regular musician to me. But I want to thank you again, and you know, I tell you what, I'm going to stay here for a long time. I'm almost 80 something now, so I don't know how many more years I can keep slapping that tambourine like that, but they keep coming for it. And I'm going to keep bringing it right here to Memphis, Tennessee. And uh, uh, Alex Coleman said, say hello. He made a lot of this possible. I had to give him some credit for that. And I'm just overwhelmed with all of these proclamations that I have. I think I gotta get a bigger house because I'm running out of wall space. But anyhow, thank you so very much for this wonderful day. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Councilman Collins. Uh, we will now go to item number two, Madam Council. Item number two.